I think we've become a nation of um, kind of new media addicts, right? Social media addicts. And, you know, we're in the top ten for YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I mean, the fourth kind of trend is this backdrop of very steady, um, I would even say a robust macroeconomic growth. Right? We're certainly a much better destination for investment and, and capital than Europe, possibly the U.S. Right? And, and this is true of many parts of Southeast Asia. Right? So, again, going back to comparing 2003 to 2013, you fast forward to 2013, with all of this penetration you know, and all of this adoption of uh, social media and the macroeconomic growth, you know, e-commerce is now over a billion dollars, right? Uh, granted, a lot of that is travel, but you know, there's still about 250, which is non-travel related. You look at uh, online advertising, that's you know, coming up on $100 million, right? Uh, compared to maybe a million in 2003. And then, um, mobile content is also coming up on 100 million dollars. So that's why we're excited about this space. Uh, so thanks for that, Manny. You know, so Manny has painted you know, a pretty optimistic uh, landscape. You're saying that all the pieces are there. We are in a confluence. Uh, we see a confluence. All these things happening at the same time. So I'd like to hear from Wilson now. I mean, you know, uh, in my own limited experience raising, raising capital from, from you know, the friends and family, the high network of people, there's certainly much more interest now than uh, a few years ago. There's a curiosity. They don't know what it's all about, but they see these, these things that Manny just described happening in their own homes. Their kids with their screens, uh, you know, the, the, the online time. Uh, being spent at home. So they know something's about to happen. They know we're close to some kind of tipping point. How do you approach uh, those kinds of uh, high net worth individuals raising, raising money? Well, um, I think before I answer, uh, I'd like to give them a brief overview about myself. Um, uh, I'm from Cebu. Um, I work as a computer programmer in Taiwan from 87 to 89, so I have two years of experience there. And then in 1992, my old friends actually from Taiwan approached me and said, can we do the programming in the Philippines? And that was 1992, there was no internet then. But uh, we were excited. Uh, we knew we had two developers here. And uh, I'm sure as a businessman, we could leverage the cost and earn some money. So I got $15,000 from my parents. And with four developers, we started the company. And uh, we have since grown.